YouTube, welcome back to the channel, specifically welcome back to another property related video. I am here in front of the buy to let property that we just purchased in Manchester. So I just parked up now in front of the house. We've got building control coming today to basically inspect the removal of the chimney breast that the builders have taken out. So hopefully that goes well today and then I signed off then the builders can progress with other parts of the house. So also a bit of an inspection for myself as well. There's a few things I've been done since I uh, last came here, which is probably like a few days ago now. So I know these guys move really quickly. Okay, so the skip is absolutely full. I'm trying to reach the guy to, to come and collect it. And then over here, we've still got other parts to do. So I think we're gonna need, we're definitely going to need another skip. Let's go inside. First thing first, we've got the plasterboards. Uh, because there's just bricks over here to recover in that and uh, ready for it to be skimmed at a later date. So that's the builder upstairs, one of the builders. And we started uh, patching some of the walls there because it just had uh, some space, which I'm not sure what they're called, but it's actually one of them. So patching it at the moment, and that's where the radiator will be. So you've already done on the uh, central heating. Basically, going to blast this wall. It's green here, so over here there's a major difference because the chimney breast it was here, and what we really wanted to check is whether you need steel beam, and it doesn't look like it will need a steel beam. So, but it's great because you can see the joist over there, which means it's actually supporting it. Um, the chimney breast basically just falls because above this bed, this room, the bedroom, there's actually, there, there isn't any chimney breast there, so it's actually all right. So let's head over to the kitchen. So the chimney breast has been taken out. To figure out why that is still there, I wonder if it's to do with any support or maybe skip is just so full. But nonetheless, this has just obviously just created more space, a lot of space now, which means we can have an L-shaped kitchen. So we have the back of the kitchen there with a the cooker somewhere around there. And then over here we'll have the sink, which will come to like just where the door is about to start there. And I think there's a little cracks there because of just the temperature really is just cold over here so I'm sure that will be sorted out. Probably need to get new floorboards. Well, we'll have to get floorboards. I'm quite pleased with this space that we've been able to create. And again, over here is just joist really uh, running through. So oh, that's an interesting one. So that joist doesn't actually go through the brick. So I wonder what we've we'll done about that. That's probably why they've left that. Because if you see those two joists in there, they actually go into the brick, into the wall. Whereas that one just stops there. So that's actually what's supporting it. Hence why they've left that. So we need to figure out what the plan is with that. Let's head upstairs. Oh yeah, the radiator, kitchen radiator over here. So to the bathroom. So the bathroom has been gutted out. We had a big decision to make really about the bath size because this is quite a narrow one. So in the end we've decided we'll be moving the door to the right slightly by like five centimeters. And that makes a huge difference to this side here. And the radiators go in there, and then we've got the sink, hot and cold pipes. Go on to the smallest room. Most so of the wallpapers I've been taking out. I started mending a few things. This room should be fairly easy and straightforward to do. Didn't realize this until we got the keys, but there isn't any socket whatsoever in this room. <laughs> so, yeah, the electrician will be adding probably two double sockets here. Of the room, the builder has been sort of patching that side up. This is the corner where the water tank was. That has been taken out, probably to get more skirting for the bottom there. At least that's been plasterboarded now, so it's ready to be skimmed. The pipes are there ready for the radiators. Now let's head over to the front room. You can see we've got patching done. We need to add more double sockets here. Only because it's got one socket. Just a single one. Tight house is gonna get rewired, so we'll probably need to get two double sockets in this room. You start putting some bricks in there, don't you? Yes. All the putting bricks in, filling it all up. So, quick update: we have now done the first fix. We've had a first fix of electrics in. So the switch in the entrance. We've got double sockets over there. There, double sockets as well. In the kitchen. We've added six spotlights and then right in the middle we'll have the smoke alarm or the heat alarm. Then we've also got a double socket over there and then there's a switch for the hub. Then over to the right side of the kitchen, our double socket, subway switch for the 
extractor fan. Also, I added another socket here for the washing machine and the fridge, and there for the boiler. So this has been chased down from the storage downstairs all the way to the top and those are the cables that you can also see above in the ceiling you need to remove that pendant put it more central so that way it actually lights up the the middle of the landing and then the cable you can see there is for the smoke alarm right above the bathroom you've got the switch for the extractor fan which will be in that right corner there and then over in the bathroom in terms of lights we've got four spotlights we're removing that pendant the smallest bedroom so we're moving that pendant and we're moving it central over to this side we've got double sockets double socket there and to the right is a switch which will control the outside flood floodlight and we've also lower down the switch as well and here so what we're going to do here is we've got double switch so one for the bathroom and one for the landing and then over to this bedroom first thing we've done the original switch was here we thought it doesn't really make sense to have it here because we could actually put wardrobes here what we then did was we added it here instead so we moved it over here and then potentially what we might do then is change the opening of the doors of the door so at the moment it opens to the right so i think it makes sense to open to the left we'll see it's not the end of the world and then we've got another double socket there over to the biggest room, we've lowered down the switch. We've got a double socket there, which, you know, would be handy if you want to warm out your TV there or you want to put something there. And then over by the bedside, we've got double socket there and another double socket there. And to the ceiling, we're moving that pendant. We're going to move it central. So that's the middle point in the room. So likewise here as well, I didn't show that. And um, so that's been a lot of progress. So the first fix of electrics is done, complete rewire. We have now done the full central heater. Next part really is start plastering. Once that's plastered, then I think the first thing we're probably going to do is the bathroom. So it'd be quite good to, to start getting the towels in and the bathtub, the shower and everything else. So we'll start looking rather different in the next couple of weeks. A lot of progress for the last two weeks, you think? Um, so, first of all, actually, they will be moving. We've finished off the chimney breast. I think we just complete the chimney breast, remove everything, and then start plastering the, the house. Oh, and another thing as well. So beneath there, we need to change the joist. So let me just show you. So you can see there that joist just needs replacing. So we're going to remove the joist which run across that way. Take it out, replace it. Oh, actually, we might just replace just this part. You see, and then once that's replaced, we'll put new floorboards on. Mm -hmm. 